Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today I want to show you how to properly set up a mono microphone to work so the sound shows up in both channels on a Mac. So a fairly common problem is to have a microphone kind of like the one I'm using right here. Just a simple lapel microphone or maybe it's a handheld microphone but it's not stereo. It's mono or monaural which means there's only one channel. When you plug that into your Mac through a microphone interface you find out that you get the sound in either just the left or the right channel and the other one is silent. And well, what you really want is the sound to be equally shared in both channels. So the way to fix this problem is to use a utility called the Audio MIDI Setup Utility. You can find it in the Applications Utilities folder. So once you're in the Audio MIDI Setup program you'll find that you've got a bunch of different options to choose from. You want to choose audio devices, of course, we're not dealing with MIDI here. And you want to go ahead and select your input. You'll find out your built-in microphones, built-in line input, and in this case the USB device I'm hooking up. Now I want to make sure I'm setting the properties for that same device. Sometimes I'll have options for sources if there's different sources for that device. Then what I'll want to do is I'll want to go ahead and choose the format that I want. Usually the default format is chosen right there. But Here's the key. I want to choose what type of format it is. Now, by default, this microphone gets set to two channel 16 bit, which means I only get the audio in the left channel. I want to reset that to one channel 16 bit. And that'll take the number of inputs on the left here from one to two. I can set the default input volume for that. And now I'll find that when I record from this microphone, I'll get the sound equally put into both channels instead of just into one. Now you should either look up the audio specifications for your microphone and make sure that the audio humidity setup is set properly or if you don't have such specifications experiment for a little while and see which settings get you the best quality. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.